All right, so remember that if you have a vector a, b, this means that on your x, y coordinate system, your vector, if it starts here, goes over by a and up by b, and your vector is this vector here. That's your vector a, b. If it starts over here, it still goes over by a and up by b, and it looks like that. So that's your vector a, b, right? Now, suppose you have another vector c, d, and your other vector c, d is pointing in a different way. So suppose we have a vector c, d, and c, d goes, starts somewhere, goes over by c, maybe c is a negative number, and up by d, and there is c, d. That's the vector c, d. If c is a negative number, it goes to the left. All right, so everybody knows this already. And now I'm going to show you something called linear combination. So if you take a linear combination of two vectors, linear combination, you take a certain multiple of a vector, a, b. Now, do you know how to multiply a vector by a number? Plus, um, uh, multiple of CD. That's called a linear combination. Now, linear combinations have two aspects to them. One is multiple scalar multiplication. So x times AB is equal to xA, xB. So that just means you do AX times and bx times, so it just gives you a vector that's longer in the same, it's, if x is 2, it's twice as long, if x is 3, it's 3 times as long, if x is a negative number, it switches the direction, but it's in the same line. Okay, so that's the um, scalar multiplication, that's called. And then plus, if you add two vectors, addition of vectors, if you have one vector here, v, and another one, w. When you add them, you take the tail from the first to the tip, and then you add the second one. His tail goes on the tip of this one. v plus w becomes the vector that goes from the tail of the first vector to the tip of the second. v plus w. And what a linear combination does is it says take x times the first vector plus y times the second vector. And what this does is it gives you like a new coordinate system. Suppose your a, b looks like this, like I drew it above and your CD vector looks like this, like I drew it above. This is saying go X amount in the AB direction plus Y amount in the CD direction. So you're going X amount in this direction, a distance X, and a, and a Y amount in this direction, and then you're following a parallelogram and you're getting to this point. So it's almost like creating a whole new coordinate system where your coordinates have this axis, the purple axis, and the blue axis. And now everything is skewed. Okay? Now, if AB is a very long vector, this is X times AB will end up very far. Twice A, you know, will be very far. I did it as if they were fractions right now, if X and Y were fractions. So that's the first idea we're getting to, is this idea of a linear combination. All right, so you have these linear combinations of vectors, and let's just write out what the answer is algebraically. This is equal to xA, xB, plus yc, yd, because when you multiply scalar, it goes to each term. And then plusing two vectors, how do you add two vectors? You add the first component to the first component, and the second component to the second component xA plus yc, xB plus yd. Now I'm introducing this as if you already sort of knew most of this already, as if you already knew how to add vectors and multiply them by things, which you might have learned in physics one or in uh, geometry. Anyway, so you have these vectors, and this linear combination is the only new thing that I'm teaching here. All right, so, and I reviewed a little bit what the other thing was, but let's talk about this linear combination again in a new way. So we have x times AB plus 
plus y times cd. And I know I'm doing these colors and it makes me slower, but there's a reason for it. And now I'm going to introduce a new notation for this. And the new notation is what's called matrix multiplication. You write your a, b, and then your c, d together in what's called a matrix. Okay, so we have this matrix. Matrix. And then we say x, y is a vector. Which is a new way of writing this exact same formula. So matrix multiplication says take matrix a, take vector the first column times this entry here, x times ab, and the second column times this guy, y times cd. It also means, if you work this out, it's also equal to x times the a plus y times the c, x times the b plus y times the d. I'm going to write the a and b in blue, and the c and d in purple. So this gives us matrix multiplication. Matrix multiplication is defined by if you have a matrix with two columns and times a vector, it means the linear combination of the first column times this guy and the second column times the second entry, which can also be written out as x times a plus y times c, x times a plus y times c, and x times b plus y times d, x times b plus y times d. So if you have this matrix, you can go straight to this version if you want. You can say, ah, it's a times x plus c times y, a times x plus c times y, b times x plus d times y, b times x plus d times y. So this is matrix multiplication. It's a new notion. I'm not expecting that you've already seen this before. But what does this do? This takes our old x, y in our usual coordinate system, where you have x goes over a certain amount and y goes up a certain amount and gives you this point, this vector x, y, and it switches it over to the coordinate system made out of the a, b, and the c, d. And instead of going x along in the direction of the x axis and y in the y axis, you go x in the direction of the b, and y in the direction of this one. And you get a point like that. So your input is x and y organized traditionally, the way you've learned a long time ago. And your output is organized according to the vectors, the blue and the purple vectors. So it's taking points on the x, y rigid coordinate system that you used to and turning them over to this new blue and purple coordinate system. All right, so that is matrix multiplication. Let me do one example so you can see kind of a neat thing. Uh, after I take, yeah, I have time to do the math. Let's do the example where AB is 1, 0, and CD is a 1. What happens? <laughs> what happens if it's 1, 0, and 0, 1? Then our matrix is 1, 0. Every place where we had the blue is 1, 0. And every place where we had the purple is 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. And what's the answer to that? If we add it up, x times 1 plus y times 0 is x. x times 0 plus y times 1 is y. So this is actually called the identity matrix. Because what does it do? It just gives the identical, the same answer back. And the reason that happened is because the 1, 0 vector looks like instead of being slanted up, the 1O vector just goes exactly that way. And the O1 vector just goes straight up. And since it's exactly the same as the original coordinate systems, going x amount this way and y amount up, this gets you back to the exact same x, y you had before. So it's the same it's identity. So that's a boring example. So let's do a more interesting example. Let's see what happens if I do 01 from the x. 
one. So one. Now what happened? Zero, zero. X plus y. Very strange, right? So what happened in this example is both of our vectors exactly the same vector twice. So here's my O1 vector, and my purple vector just goes with it in the exact same way. So now if I go X amount in the blue direction and then X amount in the purple direction, I'm just going to, and then Y amount, so I go X amount in this direction and then Y amount in this direction, my accumulation is X plus Y in that direction and I didn't go up at all. Okay, so that's another example. But let's do a more fun example. So a more fun example would be O1 in the direction and negative 1O. So this is negative 1O. Oh. And this becomes negative 1O. Oh. I have multiplication, so I put it in parentheses. Now what do I get here? Negative Y, X. Let's draw the picture. What happens to the vectors? What happens to the vectors is our blue vector is O1, which points straight up. And our purple vector is negative 1, 0, which points straight to the left. And so now, when I go x in the blue direction and y in the purple direction, I end up over here. So I start here, here, and instead I go here, here which is kind of interesting because if you look at this answer vector, this is the answer vector, that's negative y, x, what happened? I used to go up to the right and up, and now I go, instead of going to the right, I go up, and instead of going up, I go to the left. So the amount right and up becomes an amount up left, which makes the angle between this guy and this guy, if I do them on the same place, what's this angle? 90 degrees. All right, so that's the end of this one introduction, and then I'll get to the next video.